Hello everyone and welcome to Usability. Today we are going to see how to play Abyss Chosen Airs on PC using the amazing Blue Stacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. And it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Abyss Chosen Airs and enjoy the game on our Windows PC or laptop with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Blue Stacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Abyss Chosen Airs. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else folks, the first thing to do is to launch our favorite browser. We open the one we prefer. Let's continue, going to the next URL that I have highlighted in green color. Now, you are able to see on the PC screen. You don't need to type it, simply because there's a link in the video description and the first pinned comment. After we click on this link, we reach the website of Bluestacks which the Android emulator that we are going to run to play Abyss Chosen Airs on the PC. As you can discover from here we have several pros of preferring using this emulator. Then, we are ready to proceed to download the Abyss Chosen Airs by clicking on the button play on blue stacks that you can visualize here in green color. The step is clicking on it. Of course, the download starts and ends immediately. Voila, here is located the download. It is an executable file. What we have to do is to launch the executable file, so we have to click on the file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make changes to the system. We answered yes. I minimize the internet browser to see the installer significantly better. The installation software is pretty simple. It includes two choices, install and setup path. I will clarify what setup path genuinely does. We basically click on it. And so we realize that we have here the path where in fact the emulator is going to be put in. If we plan to modify this directory we need to click on this, browse, button. And now we select another directory and install the emulator precisely where we like. I prefer to leave it by default. I simply click back. Therefore I click on install. Fantastic. The installation starts and it's going to move forward in the download of these megabytes that are visible on the screen. The time you download it, it could be a little bit more or less MB. The download speed might go at a higher speed or slower, based on your connection and according to the velocity of the emulator hosting servers. Right now they're running extremely fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance-related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this time, the emulator has been launched immediately. As you can see now, down here, there is a progress bar which will fill up then when it gets to the ending, the emulator is going to be launched for the very first time. The fact is that the emulator has already been launched, here for the first time. Before we keep going, as now you can see, it made two icons here on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks software icon is going to be the one we're interested in, at any time when we would like to start Abyss Chosen Airs on the desktop or laptop, we double-click this particular app icon and consequently launch the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let me do the next step, which is actually a requirement, and this is to entry the Google Play Store. To execute this we will browse here to System Apps, we click on. And we are going to click on Play Store. As you understand the Google Play is launched. There we must log on. Currently when we are right here, we have to perform the next phase which is obligatory. Therefore click on, sign in. At present it says, checking info. It may in some cases get blocked in, checking info, additionally it doesn't continue. In this case, you can try to connect to your account after a couple of hours and it may most certainly be sorted out. At present we are going to type in our username and password. The email has to be a Gmail email and its related password. For instance you can use the exact same email you are using at this time in your YouTube account. So that I am going to insert my details and I will return after I have accomplished it. Voila, information entered. This is Google welcoming us and supplying us their tools. We will agree to them by just clicking on, I agree. Then, it offers us to back up to the Google Cloud. You might let it select it and it'll produce a backup of your data on this device to Google Drive. I won't select it, you do what you want. We mouse click on accept. Google Play, formerly Android Market, is launched by default and immediately. 
To set up the video game, we have to visit the emulator desktop by simply clicking this icon indicated in green. At present that we are exploring the desktop of the emulator, we notice that we come with right here the install video game button. We just click on that button. Listed here we come with the game. Why don't we press right here on the install choice that I am displaying now in green. That click will launch the installation. At this point it would download and install the video game. It usually takes some time or perhaps it could be extremely fast. This all relies on our connection to the web. This has already finished setting up. Back to the emulator desktop by pressing that button that I am presenting in green, that allows you to use Abyss Chosen Airs for the very first time. You are by then on the emulator desktop, and consequently we are about to simply click on that brand new Abyss Chosen Airs software icon that was generated. Your game is launched for the very first time. Now there we get it, I'm able to mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to comment on the volume of this emulator. It's right here. We have the icon of higher volume and also the icon of lower volume. This way we do not depend on the windows volume to increase or decrease the sound of the emulator. And also to take pleasure in the experience to the fullest, we could switch on the large monitor, for which we have two options. This one is actually the first one. We mouse click on this particular software icon which I am mentioning in green. Thus the monitor is maximized, having one border on top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. If ever we want to appreciate the app using all the screen, we click this app icon. And as a result we would by now be experiencing the game app in 100% screen mode. To stop the full screen mode, hit the F11 key. And we by now end up being in regular display screen mode. At present, I am on the way to show you the computer keyboard mapping that is really rather appealing. This means we will likely be able to utilize the video game much more easily. The very first task is to click on this computer keyboard icon. It's now time to make the appropriate configuration settings. I'll go ahead and keep the normal configuration, but if you really want to change it, you can also achieve it without any problem. Obviously, the emulator is fully in our language. From time to time it occurs that your emulator is started in the incorrect language, as an example, in Chinese language. And as a result to set it in the correct language we browse here to the cogwheel. And thus here within various other options, we mouse click on the language drop down. We can also opt for the language we like, German, Chinese, etc. When the language is selected, we would save, the emulator will restart, along with the game application, next time we run it, would as well be in the preferred language. Presently, there is another aspect that we need to take into consideration, and it's that we will receive a message from Google indicating that a brand new electronic device has been connected to our Google account. It will likely check with us if we are the ones who have connected that electronic device. That's right, we should not worry, simply because the emulator is behaving like an Android electronic device. And in order to see which electronic device is currently being emulated, we return right here, to the cogwheel and we simply click on it. Be sure you browse here to the, model, option. And right here we notice that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for this video tutorial. I anticipate you enjoyed it, particularly that you found it informative. If so, offer it a great like, subscribe, and if you have feedback, questions or suggestions, put them in the comment area down below. Simply click on any of the instructional videos that are appearing on the screen and let's have fun again in the following video game videos. Bye!